we are going to make some uh, smoked salmon lollipops today. Today, right now, this minute. This comes from a, an old idea we used to do, oh, way back when. Garnish for cheese trays, when I was an apprentice, we used to take grapes, uh, emperor grapes, roll them in uh, various cheeses. Could have been soft blue cheese, could have been cream cheese, Philly. Um, and then we would roll them in toasted nuts. And we had a whole whack of different styles. Then onto the cheese tray, we would take them and we would, re we would recreate uh, a bunch of grapes with all of these grapes that were rolled in various things. And that would be the centerpiece for the, uh, for the cheese tray. And we'd use vine leaves at the top and then have all the cheeses and the crackers coming off that on marble slabs. This is kind of an idea from that variation. I've got Philadelphia cream cheese. I've got some seedless grapes. I've got some sliced smoked salmon. This is actually sliced steelhead. Um, I want I, this. I like the steelhead because, as you can see, it's quite oily. It has much more of an oil content than the salmon. Steelhead, of course, is uh, half salmon, half trout, and uh, has a great flavour. It's a, a light smoke. It's uh, it's not a heavy smoke at all. So, enough of that. Let me get cracking here. So, about a, a walnut-sized piece of cream cheese. Take the grape, roll her around. Real quick, real easy. This is one of those things that uh, you can have the, the young guys in the kitchen do very, very fast. And it's very, very, very effective. We use these a lot when we're trying to get height um, on buffets. Um, we do quite a few different, we call them lollipops. This is the smoked salmon lollipop, but we do smoked trout. We still do the, the cheeses with the with the nuts, and um, if you get chance to have a look at the the website, we've actually got some photos on there where we've got topiary trees hanging, and from the topiary trees are things like uh, sun-dried apricots filled with cream cheese and chopped pistachios, and um, there's one with dried pineapple and papaya. And they're all on skewers coming out of toke trees. Very effective. Make, they make great centerpieces. They're easy to eat because they're all on, on skewers. Easy to transport. Most of them you can make the day before. So prep's not an issue. Um, they don't have a problem sitting in the fridge. Now having said that, if you're going to do the ones with toasted nuts, there are certain nuts that will take on the moisture from the fridge and uh, they won't be quite as nice. So the nut ones, what we might do is we might roll them, stick them in the fridge, and then um, roll the nuts on them the day of the, of the gig. In a sealed container, these will stay, stay quite fresh for a few days. The chopped parsley you don't really dust on until you do your final, the final presentation. Doesn't have to be chopped parsley, of course. You could use chopped fennel, chopped dill. Um, I'm not sure if I'd, I'd use. Uh, I don't think I've ever tried the basil with the smoked salmon, but no reason why not. You could do chives, garlic chives. Okay, so now we've got our grapes uh, rolled in our cream cheese. We'll just put those to one side. We'll bring in the smoked salmon. I'm just going to change one glove so that I don't get cream cheese all over smoked salmon. Okay, then very simply, piece of smoked salmon on there, and with the oil in the smoked salmon and the uh, the stickiness of the cream cheese, it sticks fairly easily. The idea of being, if you do have too many cracks or splits, the smoke, the uh, sorry, the chopped parsley is going to hide that away for you, make it look pretty seamless. This steelhead is a great product. We use it in many different applications. The uh, it's a 
great for bagels. And again, not quite as expensive as using Sakai or Coho. The reason I use Philadelphia cream cheese for this one, as opposed to a spreadable cream cheese, is the spreadable, once you start to mold it, it doesn't adhere to the grapes very, very well. Whereas the, uh, the Philadelphia holds up a lot better, refrigerates better, and keeps its, uh, keeps its integrity better. 